What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, my name is Akeem Haynes. I'm a two-time Olympian, Olympic bronze medalist, author, motivational speaker, and sports commentator. On my channel, we talk boxing, MMA, track and field, and of course, motivation and encouraging content. If this is something that you enjoy, then I hope that you subscribe to the channel. Now, let's get into the video. Derek Chisora versus Kubrat Pulev. What do we think of this fight? What are our thoughts on this fight. Let's talk about Chazera. I have a lot of respect for him because he doesn't let a loss change him, right? He's still confident, still believes he can beat anybody. And sometimes the losses can make you believe less, but that's not the case for Chazora. Every time I hear him talk, he's always talking about war, right? That he wants to bring war. He wants to have war. And that's what he's always going to bring to the ring. And I don't think that's going to change anytime soon. Chazora is going to try and knock him out right? He's going to try to make this an inside the pocket fight. He's going to try to make Pulev stand right in the pocket and throw with him, go shot for shot and to see who is going to be able to stand the pressure, who is going to back down. That's the type of fight that he wants. Derek Chazera is not someone that you're going to say, oh man, this guy's footwork is impeccable. This is not someone you're going to say, man, this man's hand speed is on a different level. He's got heart and he is not going to come in a fight and give you anything less than his best. He's going to lay it all out there. Regardless if he's losing or if he's winning, he's going to give you everything that he's got. And that's something that you have to respect about Derek Chisora. And especially as a heavyweight, you cannot take any heavyweight for granted because they have that much power where they can take anybody out. But in this fight, he has to be able to close the gap. He has to be able to be strategic with how he gets inside um, Pulev. And when he's in there, he has to not just headhunt, but chop him down a little bit, go to the body and let the body shots bring Pulev's hands down where he can land those head shots. But if he can't close the distance, I think it's going to be a long night for him. Kubrat is coming into this fight at 41 years old. And if you saw his last fight against Jerry Ford, you can see that he is still moving pretty well. Despite the age where we see most boxers slowing down, Pulev is still doing a lot of good things. He's an experienced fighter. He's been in there with some of the best in that division. He's already fought Chisora and got the win over him. So he probably has the psychological advantage already. But Pulev still has a good jab, still has a good right hand, still puts together a good combination and placement. And defensively, he moves well right? Good head movement. He's got a strong chin. His legs have slowed down a little bit, but for the most part, he is still operating at an elite level. He's got very good ring IQ. His first fight was back in 2009, so his experience in the ring is sound, and he's seen everything, and he's seen Chisora before. In this fight, I'm expecting Kubra Pulev to control the distance, right? Hide behind the jab. I'm expecting him to go to the body. I'm expecting him to slip in and to slip out. And if he finds himself in trouble, I'm expecting him to tie up Derek Chisora because, like I said, he doesn't want to get into that ugly fight that Derek Chisora wants to bring out of him. Right? He's already got the win before. He already knows what Derek Chisora is about. And if you saw the face-off that they did, he said the same thing. He said, all you talk about, Derek, is war, 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 war. And, and Kubra said, at some point, you got to do something different. But Derek Chisora is not going to change. I think Pulev is going to come in more prepared than Chisora, more conditioned than Chisora. And I think he is going to control this fight because he is going to make the necessary adjustments needed in order to win this fight. And I think towards the later rounds, I think Chisora is going to get a bit more tired. He's going to go to the ropes if he finds himself in trouble to try to bait in Pulev and land a big shot. But I don't think Pulev is going to fall for it. Um, I think Pulev is going to control this fight, and I think he is going to win by decision. What are your thoughts on this fight? Let me know in the comments section below. If you would like to support the channel, there are a couple ways that you can do so. You can like, subscribe, and share this with a friend. If you would like to support the channel by way of donation, then you can find options in the description below. Also, my cash app and it will be on screen here. Any amount is great and helps towards growing and moving this channel forward. And it would be greatly, greatly appreciated. If you've been watching the video this long, then do me a favor and subscribe to the channel and we'll definitely see you next time.